polynomial inequalities. Let's take a look at this example. We're looking for all x such that 2x cubed plus 6x squared minus x is going to be less than negative 3. And there may be lots of x's, an infinite number of x's that uh, satisfy this inequality. So our first step is to get all the terms on one side. And when we do that, this changes the question a little bit. Uh, now we're asking, when is the polynomial 2x cubed plus 6x squared minus x minus 3 less than 0? Or when is this polynomial negative? Step two is to find all zeros of the resulting polynomial. That means this polynomial right here. So that's step two. And uh, let's see how I do that. Uh, there's many ways to do this. I could pop it into a calculator. Uh, you know, I could use some rational root techniques. But uh, fortunately, this one factors nicely. It factors into uh, uh, 2x squared, uh, I can group these two anyway, and then it factors nicely by grouping into uh, x plus 3 times 2x squared minus 1 equals 0. Well, that's wonderful. And I set x plus 3 equal to 0 and 2x squared minus 1 equals 0, and you get these roots. You get uh, x equals negative 3, and x equals plus or minus the square root of uh, 1 half, which is about approximately really 0.7 or you could say 0 0.707 or just 0 0.7, plus or minus 0 0.7. I'm going to use uh, plus or minus uh, 0 0.7 uh, when I actually do my work here. And the first, after you have these roots, you uh, put the zeros on the number line and check for signs in four regions. Okay, so here we have our uh, polynomial and I've got these four regions. Uh, this is minus the square root of one half and plus the square root of one half, but I use just uh, 0.7 for that. And here's the idea is that only when the polynomial gets goes to zero can a sign change. So if it happens, if, if it's one sign here, it won't change until it gets into this region and then it might change again and then it might change again. And all you have to do is check a point like from anywhere from less than negative three to negative infinity, take any point, plug it in and whatever the sign is, that's what the sign will stay until it hits negative three. Now it may or may not change, but th these are the only places where it can change at the zeros of the polynomial. So I'm going to check maybe uh, negative four and I can check negative one here. I can check zero in this region and I can check positive one in this region and that's what I do. And I don't really have to evaluate uh, the polynomial. All I really have to do is uh, plug an arbitrary number into the polynomial from each region to determine the signs. Remember I said I was going to plug negative 4 in. I find that the polynomial is negative. I mean, I quickly see this is going to be a huge over 100, you know, a neg a negative multiplied by 2. Uh, it's going to be over 100, so a negative some number over 100. So I know it's going to be huge, so I can pretty much guess that it's going to be negative. And then when I put negative 1 in, you can quickly see that it's positive. And if you want, check the movie, uh, stop the movie, and check these values yourself to make sure that it really is true that the function is negative at negative 4, or the polynomial is negative, then changes to positive, then changes to negative, and then changes to positive at each of these points. Now I can indicate this on a number line in the following uh, way. I can say, okay, it's negative on this side. I put negative 4 and it was negative. It's also negative all the way out to a negative infinity, and it changes to positive right here, then it changes to negative, then it changes to positive, and that continues on forever. Okay, But what is the question? The original question is uh, when it, for what values of x is 2x cubed plus 6x squared minus x, when is that less than 3? Well, that's when this polynomial here is less than 0 or is negative. All right, so that's what I have here. When 2x cubed plus x squared minus x minus 3 is negative, then this will be true. So here are my answers. Obviously, when x is less than negative 3, um, this polynomial will be negative and this uh, inequality will hold. And also when x is between uh, negative 0.7 and positive 0.7, which we know to be an approximation for negative the square root of one half and positive the square root of one half. So these are, this is our, these are all the x's for which this original uh, inequality is true.